Shalom everyone. Today we will uh, start looking at um, the first verse of the Bible and we will look at uh, the Hebrew words there. But uh, before doing that, can you guess what, uh, if you take um, a dictionary, a Hebrew dictionary, um, can you guess uh, what the first word there is? So you can think about it uh, for some seconds. I can show you first. Uh, this is uh, the one I'm using. So you can think about it while I'm looking it up for you. So here it is. And it cons it's, it reads av. And it consists of the first and the second letter in the alphabet. So it's no coincidence that the first word in Hebrew is father or a father. So after that has been said, can you guess what the first word in the Bible is? Well, the first uh, whole word is all of this, but you don't have to read uh, all of these letters to come across the first word. The first word in itself, you just fi find when you take... Um, the first two letters here and it reads um, b -ar, bar meaning sun so it's interesting to find this right at the beginning of the bible so, let's look at uh, the first word and we read it as um, um, the dot here in the middle, in the middle, it means like you read it like B, B, otherwise it's uh, V, like in Av, Father, it's without a dot, but with a dot it's B. So it's uh, ber, re, no sound here, sheet, ber, re, sheet. And this letter here, shin, it can have a dot to the right, with the, which is uh, uh, most usual. And then it's read like shine. Um, so the first word here, it actually consists of two words. First, we have a preposition. And uh, two of the meanings here is in or when. And uh, the second part here of the word, uh, it comes from uh, this word here. Um, often words has a three letter root. And this is the root of this word here. It reads Rosh. Rosh, meaning head. 
and um, well there are several uh, meanings of this word uh, reishit uh, I have written some here but these are the ones um, that we will be looking at uh, usually one translates it as in the beginning but actually there is no definite article here so more accurately one can translate it as in a beginning but if you take a random bible and read there you will most likely find uh, the translation in the beginning so we will come back here later mm. Yeah, so um, the next word, it uh, reads uh, ba-ra, no um, uh, sound here, so ba-ra, and uh, this is the root for uh, sun. And uh, some of the translations here um, is uh, created, formed, or made. And one can also say that uh, this word here, it stands in masculine uh, singular uh, perfect uh, tense. And one often translate um, 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 often one translate uh, perfect tense in um, past tense in English, but uh, uh, time doesn't have uh, that role in Hebrew. Um, one have to read this from the context and. Um, um, But um, um, anyway, created is uh, the most usual translation. Mm. But we will see another at the end of the video. So uh, here, down here, I have written some other possibilities but uh, we will not look at these so uh, the next um, word is uh, the word um, uh, Elohim Elohim <coughs> I think this may be familiar to many of you. This is the word for God, the true God. And um, um, this stands in um, the plural uh, pl plural form here with im uh, at the end um, and there is also um, another interpretation of this um, im um, where uh, it is um, an uh, emphatical uh, you put emphasis on the word so mm, and this is um, mm, it can be the case that this is um, mm, 
an older usage than uh, plural forms themselves. So, um, but anyway, um, it is a plural form and uh, here we have the singular of this lo uh, ha the dot here I uh, hope you can see the dot here on top el ha and um, it comes from this word here eh, la eh, la this is like an H. <clears throat> so, um, I want to show you something else from um, the dictionary. Um, so, uh, this uh, Root la uh, of Elohim. This has there is another word. Consisting of the same uh, letters but with our other uh, vocalization. So this is um, one of many things uh, or advantages uh, of looking at the original language um, there, there are things that um, get lost in translations for instance i put on top here uh, the numeral values of words and one can compare words with the same value and also what one can look at uh, words consisting of the same letters and find connections so in this case with uh, la there is another word hope you can see it here i won't pronounce this word but it's aleph an A, an L, an A, and an H. It means lay under a curse. So, and uh, if you not have seen it already, uh, maybe it will ring some bells when I'm uh, when you see this word very close to uh, the root of Elohim it's um, just different vowels here mean, meaning to lay under a curse and uh, as it stands in the Galatians I have written here uh, um, Bible verse Messiah redeemed us from the curse of the Torah by becoming a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree so um, the, the, the root of uh, Elohim is very close to a word for lay under a curse so um, And he become and, and uh, Messiah becomes a curse for us. He became a curse for us. 
so um, mm, yeah I got reminded of this verse here when I prepared this so um, So this is something that is very closely connected to this um, word, or can we say name? Word or name itself is very connected to this. And um, okay, I can say I can also say something about this here. Um, uh, the Bible version I am using, uh, it's not, uh, I think there are some other translation with almost the same name, but the one I'm using most in English is New Jerusalem version. It looks like this, very beautiful. It's quite new version, not so many years, oops ago it was published and it's published by Hineni Publishers in uh, the Netherlands so uh, here you can see it you can find it and order it on the web so for instance, they translate the weight words like Messiah, Torah, and so on. So, okay, let's uh, look at the next word. It's called. It's um, uh, yeah. It it reads uh, eight. Eight. It um, it has no uh, direct correspondence um, in English. Um, it points to um, the direct object in the sentence. So it's like um, uh, God created, and what did he create? He created what comes after uh, this direct object marker. So here you can see um, um, the definite article H. Uh, it can have different um, vocalizations here underneath, but um, it means the and here comes uh, what is created uh, shamaim shamaim or ha shamaim so this is a word for it's also in the plural, plural, you can see im at the end. Uh, so it's either plural or uh, something put under emphasis. And uh, it means heaven or the sky. So uh, But um, uh, it comes uh, at this stage in the creation, uh, the sky wasn't made. It came later uh, that uh, the blue below was separated from uh, the blue above. So. Uh, most likely this is to be translated like heaven not the sky and you can also see here the word for water or waters 
it's almost the same here it's if you if you just um, look at the end of the word here uh, it's ma it's um, ma im it's the word for water or waters so the the blue below in hebrew it's uh, very similar to the blue above meaning the sky but here in this verse we will um, consider this as heaven and this is a definite article so it's like the heaven or um, if you want the plural interpretations it's the heavens so next word is um, uh, almost the same as we had um, over here so it's the direct object marker with a vav at the beginning it reads the eight and this is like a conjunction uh, there are several different possible uh, ways of uh, translating uh, conjunction but um, yeah many times it's just like an and and um, so it's uh, here you have um, something that was the object of uh, direct object of creation and then comes and something more that was also direct object and but before going there we can look at this vav because um, all the word all the letters in hebrew they are picture of something so um, um, this vav you can almost see it it's like a picture of a nail or a spike So this is how um, you use that picture also when you um, um, connect uh, part of um, uh, part of sentences. You you use this conjunction, but it's all, but it's a picture of. Uh, the thing um, that was used in the tabernacle to put up um, uh, connect um, parts of the tabernacle um, and also that uh, nailed uh, Yeshua Messiah on the cross it was also these spikes or nails but uh, okay let's go to the next the, um, the last word of this verse which is uh, the second um, uh, di uh, second direct object of creation and it also starts with um, the definite article here so it's the and then comes uh, Aretz, ha, Aretz, ha, Aretz, and um, 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 this vocalization here um, changes when it is this article here. So the word itself here is read. Uh, Eretz, Eretz, so um, it means earth or the world. So um, this uh, this is what was created: the heaven or heavens and the earth. So. Um, I have written uh, again um, 
the verse from uh, uh, New Jerusalem version, how it's translated. It's in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And something like this is what you will find if you pick some Bible um, at random. So, um, but yeah, I can also say, yeah, yeah I want to show you. So this is a quite, uh, it's called a word for word translation. You translate each word as much as you can. But one can also consider larger parts of the, of the verse and try to translate them as accurately as one can. It's called thought for thought. And I want to show you as a final um, thing to be said. I will show you from this one here, GPS Hebrew English Tanakh. Um, it has uh, something like this as a footnote. So it points out that this is um, a possible translation, but it um, gives another one as as the as the primary one, and I have written it here at the bottom. You can see it here if you like, but. Um, and at the bottom you have uh, the footnote. You can see in the beginning God created its stance, but it has a different one up here. So let's look at this. Let's see. Can I get this in picture? Uh, let's see here. Uh, I have to adjust here, or oh, I can lift it up. So, this is what the mm -hmm, this is what the GPS suggests. When God began to create heaven and earth, so. I find this um, translation very interesting and it connects here with the uh, first of way. So it was um, uh, right at the beginning of, uh, uh, of the creation just uh, just what happened when it started or how it started so um, and perhaps we will come back to this when we look at the next verse because there it will stand uh, how it was uh, when uh, God uh, Elohim started to create the heaven and the earth. <laughs>